Welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, in this one we are going to make some characters dance. So as whenever you start a project you always start with this cat sprit which we are going to delete. So you can on a Mac just double click it or press uh, control shift and click or right click on a, a Windows I believe. So we're gonna delete the cat and we're gonna load a new character. So go to where it says new sprit and click on the, the little uh, symbol there and we're going to choose a new character. Uh, so I'm going to choose uh, the dinosaur one. So I'm just going to scroll down and then choose, oh, I lost it, well, this guy here. So once he's highlighted, click OK. All right, um, now you can see that uh, if we want to look at the dinosaur uh, costumes up top here, I can see all the different uh, moves or positions that he has that he will dance through. So for now, I'm just going to go back to my scripts and choose the events tab. Now normally I would start when clicked by clicking the green flag but this time I'm going to start with when the spacebar is pressed so when I press that spacebar each time I want it to scroll, uh, go through the different costumes so I'm going to go into where it, the looks which is purple and I'm going to choose next costume so I can sample that by now pressing my spacebar and see that he will dance through the different costumes Um, Alright, now you can also see too that the costumes, they each have a different name such as 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, so that if we want to we can specify which particular dance moves I'm going to want him to do. Alright, so go back into your, your script here. I'm going to add a forever loop so that he's always changing. So I'm going to go into the control tab and I'm going to drag over this forever loop. So making sure that that costume tab sits in the middle. Um, and I can, I'm can i going to replace now that space bar with the when the green tabs clicked. So you can now see the difference. I'm just going to get rid of that for a second. So now if I press this that he should be constantly changing his costume without me having to do anything. But it's like super fast. Um, so we don't really want that to happen. So we'll just press stop. So what I want to do now is I want to choose which costume. So I'm going to just go into, rather than have the next costume constantly switching, what I can do is I can have him switch costumes. So let's say switching costume from, you can choose your poses, let's say I want from 1C, um, and then I'm just going to have it wait a couple seconds. So go back into the control tab, and we can have it wait a half a second, so maybe just put in 0 0.5 for half a second, and then I'll have it switch to a different costume. Um, so we'll go from C to D, and then again, We'll go back to control and wait another half a second. And now if we hit play, you can see that he's not going crazy. He's just switching between those two poses every half second. If I want to add more dancing dinosaurs to this, then all I need to do is again um, control shift and click to duplicate him. Um, and you can move them around on the stage so you can continue to duplicate as many of these guys as you want. But you'll notice that when I hit play they're all doing the same move. Which is fine if you want it, if that's what the look you're going for. Otherwise you'll have to go into the individual scripts and, and change the, the, da the moves and the costumes that they're on. All right, we're going to add some scenery to this. So we want to add a backdrop. So you're going to go down in here to where uh, in the stage area, 
and choose uh, the backdrop in that bottom corner there. All right, let's uh, choose a scene for this guy. Let's go with the spotlight stage here is the one I'm going to choose. And then you can position your characters around the stage. However you like. You can also resize these guys if they find they're too big. So if you go into your scripts um, and just choose, okay, that's the one on the stage. So let's say I want the one out front or the one to the side maybe to be a little smaller. Then I can go to the looks tab and I can set his size. So I would want to drag that one up and, and change the size of him. So you might want to try something like 75%. And you can see he's a little smaller than the rest. So you might do that with the one out front as well. Um, set his size to 75%. And maybe you'll put them off to the side now. I'm going to make this guy a little bit smaller too. Now I'm going to put him at 90%. So that's how you change the sizes. All right, so we can add more characters in this if we want. Um, let's see, now, let's maybe add another character in here. Let's add the dancing ballerina. So remember, if the, you want to choose your character, make sure it's highlighted before you hit the OK button. So let's go ahead and do that. Move her maybe out front somewhere. And then we're going to just sort of repeat that, that same process. Um, maybe before we do that, one thing I want is my characters to move around the stage. Well, for the, we can do this on the ballerina. We'll leave those guys stationary. So let's start the script for her. So remember to go into your events tab and choose the when clicked. And again, I want a forever, a forever loops for her to be dancing. But um, let's go into the motion and let's have her move. Let's just say move 10 steps. And if she reaches the edge of the screen, I want her to bounce back. Otherwise, she'll just go off the stage and leave the scene altogether. So we're going to choose If On Edge Bounce. So if you go ahead and click play, you'll notice she flips upside down. Which is fine if that's the look you're going for. Um, click on the eye of, uh, information on her, on her character, and you'll notice that it's because she's rotating here. So if I don't want her to flip and I just want her to go back and forth, I want to choose that middle one. And now you'll see she just goes back and forth like that. So that's how you can change that upside down character. All right, so let's go ahead and stop and hit that little arrow here to go back into all your characters. So I'm going to go back to my character that's on stage here and I'm going to um, add some more movement for him. So I'm going to add another when clicked uh, tab here and another forever loop. We're going to choose some if then statements. So I'm going to start with this one here. So I'm going to drag that if then statement and this time I'm going to control them with my keyboard. 
So I'm going to use um, <clears throat> an if then statement that if I use my right arrow, so I'm going to drag over this one. It says space, but we're going to change that and just hit the drop down menu. So if I hit the right arrow, what I want him to do is point in another direction. I want him to point right. So that's going to be a direction of 90 degrees to point right. So I'm going to go into um, the, that would be a motion, I believe. Yes, we want him to point 90 degrees, which should make him facing right. And then we're going to have him move 10 steps. Now I'm going to use another control to get him to go left. So I'm going to use another if then statement underneath and then go into the sensing this time. I'm going to use the, if the left arrow is pressed, then I'm going to have him point in, if I want him to point left, it'll be negative 90 this time. So back into the motion, drag over that point 90, but just hit the drop down and make it negative 90 so that he goes left. And then again, he can move 10 steps. So let's just hit play and see what happens and try out your left and right arrows to make sure he's moving. Now you'll see that he's up and down on his head again because that, again, in the I button, I want him just to be in the middle so it's going left and right and not upside down. So now you can control his movements. All right, now Let's see. I'm going to go back into my ballerina and I just want to see what costume she has. So she's got a couple poses there. So I'm going to make sure that these poses are happening. So I'm going to add in an events tab for her as well and have her cycle through some of her costumes. So I'm going to have the control it's not going to be a forever loop this time. I'm going to choose a repeating loop. This time I want to repeat maybe three times and I want her to switch costumes. So with the loops tab, have her switch some of the costumes. So you can choose, look at her costumes and see which ones you want her to do. Um, I'm going to go with the maybe uh, B and C. It's up to you. You can change around with these. So have her go from B and again remember wait a couple seconds before she does anything so it doesn't go too fast. So wait a half a second and then switch a costume to C or B and D. Yeah, that's fine. Wait another half a second after that. Okay, so we can hit play. So she's cycling the two, between those two. She's going a little off the, little far off the stage, so you might even want to just change that to a little less steps, up to you how you're playing with it. Now she's staying, oh, maybe not. Okay, let's go five. If on edge bounce. Yeah, that's a bit better. Slower anyways. Or you could even change her so that she's the one you're controlling with the left and right. So it's up to you how you want to play that. <clears throat> so you can add more characters if you like. Um, otherwise, that's just, you know, a few ideas on how you can scroll between costumes and manually control characters on your stage. So that's just a beginning tutorial on creating dancing characters. Um, maybe uh, you might want to go in, instead of having these all do the same thing, you can easily go into these ones and switch the costumes with the drop down menus, change what pose they're doing. I can go into this one as well. Maybe have him do some of the other poses. Um, 
Now you'll notice with some of the poses that he is, they're both facing this way. So if you don't like that, uh, you can change his direction so that he is also, remember negative 90, he's upside down, so don't forget to flip that one. So negative 90 will make him point towards the center of the stage. So you can play around with some of your poses and add more characters as you like. And that's, uh, anyways, have fun with that. All right, one final thing that we need to do is uh, we need to add music to our background or to our scene. So if we could click on the stage down here in the bottom, much as the characters all have their own individual scripts, we can add a script to the stage. So uh, make sure you're on the stage and let's start with our events that when clicked, uh, if we want, we can make it appear that the disco lights are flashing. So I can go into a forever repeating loop and um, I can go into the looks and I can change that color effect. So let's try doing that. If I leave it at 25 and hit play, you'll see all the lights just start flashing. So you can play around with the color effects, um, setting it to 50, see what happens. And try again. So, you know, you can play around with that. If we use a waiting period, then you can see now that the speed at which the lights are flashing has slowed down. So depending on how fast you want your lights to flash, you can play around with that. Now we need some music for our, our characters to be dancing to. Um, so we can also go up into the sound tab and uh, we can, uh, forever we would want a sound to play. So I could actually probably just drag that right into my forever loop here as well. Um, so let's go play sound. Right now it's set up hot, which is boring. So go up into the sounds, let's stop that for now. So in the sounds tab, and uh, we want to go into the, the sound library. So we want to choose this first one. And you can choose from um, so dance around, celebrate. You can play around with your sounds. I'm just going to pick one. How about dance funky? Sure, go with that one. So once you've hit OK, go back into your scripts and now if you hit the drop down menu, oh, maybe I didn't hit OK. So go back into there. Go back to your sounds library. And what did I choose? Dance Funky. So common mistake, make sure it's highlighted and hit OK. Now it should be in that drop down menu to choose from. Drum Funky, is that the one I chose? I don't think it was. No, I want to dance, funky. Yeah, I want dance, funky. So highlight that one, hit OK, choose what you want. In your scripts, you will be able to find the one you chose. And you can preview it. So there is a bit of a, a catch there because I have that weight. So what I think I'm going to do is drag out a new script for it. So I'm going to just choose a forever loop. I don't want that delay in my sound and put that in a new one. 